Reconstruction um, was a moment not just of promise, but a moment of real progress, uh, of revolutionary progress. You know, for the first time, all these black men have been elected to office. For the first time, black people have the possibility um, and actualize having control over their churches, their, um, having schools that they can control, having um, a family that you can say, this is my husband, this is my wife, these are my kids, and I can, I no longer have to watch as they're torn away from me. That's huge for black people, and it's huge for white Americans today to know that that moment came. What we wound up accomplishing as a people after the Civil War was setting new constitutional baselines for America. It is truly the case that the Constitution was transformed by this period, um, but it was transformed also in the debates and activism and courage of a range of Americans for decades upon decades. And what's so exciting in the story we're trying to tell here and in the exhibit downstairs is the way in which a lot of arguments advanced by you know, abolitionists, by women's rights activists, by African Americans throughout the 1800s that were once seen as too radical to be realized in America became part of our Constitution and a part of our DNA as Americans. And I hope that, that the audience leaves this uh, this theatrical piece and the exhibit downstairs, understanding the power of that, uh, of that vision, that courage, and that activity for decades upon decades.